began with a dream. Barry, the show isn't that good, man. Cool down. Oh, man. You see those lights? That's the elevator we need to see. Okay. I hate these guys so much. There we go. Well, if Alan is hot, you sir remind me of Alan. We look alike, so therefore I'm Alan. Hey, that's fucking, that makes sense. Bro, we are both Alan. We are woke and hot. Oh, we made it. We're not dead. The Taken are filled with the darkness. These fucking pieces of shit. Serve the liberals. I like that. It's almost here, Wake. Just hold on. Everybody, oh, open up! Up! <laughs> Elevators here, boys. Holy shit. Welcome in, Miss Kudley. Jesus Christ. Ow, hit the button. I am hitting the button. There we go. Thank you for the 75 bits. Much appreciated. You almost got me. We're almost there. There's an entrance into the dam at the top. What's the plan, Wake? Well, Weaver's crazy, but she's got something Zane left behind. Something to fix this. Gee. Could you be a little more vague? Dude, I hope, I hope that says, I hope, I hope in, in Kanji, I hope that says you're the coolest fucking person ever, Miss Goodleaf. I hope it does. Ooh. We're almost there. Oh, it's Mandarin. It's not Kanji, it's Mandarin. Says, greeting comrades, I for welcome reckon <laughs> new Chinese overlords. <laughs> oh, I gotta hold the button down for them. Okay.
know I don't know who heard about it yet, but uh China just released some new uh China just released some new lore on um on gacha games and like um and uh like like gambling in video games and uh put out a change in uh, the legislation that completely destroys gacha games and their entire uh their entire method of how they make money. So that's pretty cool. I love that. Thomas Zing knew he had to remove all that had made this horror possible, including himself. That was the only way to banish the dark presence he had unleashed and now looked at him through the eyes of his dead love. But he also knew that despite his best efforts, it might someday return. So even as he wrote himself and his work out of existence, he added a loophole as insurance, an exception to the rule. Anything of his stored in a shoebox would remain. So that's the insurance. People are trying to defend gacha games. They're like, how are they going to make money? It's like, fuck you, it's predatory. Gacha games are terrible. They're the worst thing to happen to video games since EA. Miss Gulifson, Tongjima Hao, Shou Chang Hao, Tongjima Shinkula, Wayla Remy Fuwu. Oh shit! Oh shit, it did it! Holy shit! Wow! Dude, these fucking birds! Hey, there we go. He actually said it right. That's fucking amazing. That is so cool. I didn't expect it to. I guess it would make sense that the AI is not the AI is not limited to English. All right, guys. Or a flare gun. No way! Alan Wake was made in the time of... In the time of, uh... In, in the time of, um... Um, turret, turret sections in video games. Big dark tornado. No! God damn it. And I wonder. Oh, oh I'm curious to see what this one is. Мисс Гудлиф Сент, что будет сниться, когда не в забаве, к нам в дверь постучится холодный январь? I gotta replay that. Oh my god, I have to replay that. Мисс Гудлиф Сент, что будет сниться, когда не в забаве, к нам в дверь постучится холодный январь? He's even, he's even saying it in a Russian accent. Like he's even saying it in a Russian accent at the start. Miss Goodleaf Sint. What 
Wait, is that a, is that a, oh my God, who's the, who are the guys? Oh, I can't remember their names, but the Russian group. Uh, Village Voice, Russian Village Voice? Yeah. That's fucking stupid. Bro, I'm, I'll, I'll blow out your back for you. <laughs> Let's hear this one. I am curious. What what language even is this one? I can see him a little bit early if I'm paying attention. Miss Goodleaf sent. Baš je dobro, noća sve je toplo, a ja sam lažljiva. Budi dobar, noćas budi hrabar, jer ja sam lažljiva. That's fucking wicked. That is fucking wicked. Holy shit. Can you imagine somebody, can you imagine somebody hearing this for the first time on my channel and just like, they're just like, hey, what the fuck is happening? And so then they start responding in that language and I'm like, guys, I don't, I can't speak that language. I don't know anything about it. Oh, fuck yes, yes. Hopefully, you know, once in the blue moon that Gator actually strings, we will get him off it. <clears throat> I mean, hey, if this is a well-lit room, this has got to be the end of this chapter, right? Oh. Take it. And I won't need to worry about the room anymore. Because sixes, 33 and 118 need changing soon. And I don't want to climb up the ladder to change them because it's very late. And I'm tired. And if you take it, I won't have to do that anymore. The page was autobiographical. A memory from my childhood. But I didn't write this. It was a page written by Thomas Zane. Oh. None of them were supposed to exist anymore. Alan, seven years old, would fight sleep to the bitter end. When he did sleep, he soon woke up, screaming, the nightmares fresh in his mind. One evening, his mother, sitting by his bed, offered him an old light switch. She called it the clicker. And oh, so shit. And would turn on a magical light that would drive the beast away. To imbue the talisman with all possible power, she added that it had been given to her by Alan's father. Alan never knew him, and anything of his took on mythical proportions in his mind. With the clicker firmly in his hand, Alan finally slept like a baby. Holy now, shit! Almost 30 years later, Alan thought of this. As he stood on the rim of Cauldron Lake, the clicker in his hand, he took a deep breath and jumped. My mind swirled. I'd given the clicker to Alice, yet it was here. Zane had written it into existence in a story I had written. Oh, this is fucking weird and wild. I love it. I 
can get to her now. I can finish this. It's the clicker, the MacGuffin clicker. Let's fucking go. Fuck yeah, that's awesome. Previously on Alan Wake, I wrote a horror story that has come true. Thomas Zane did the same in the 70s. You will go no further. If I continue like the Dark Presence wants me to, the story I'm writing won't save Alice. It's a horror story. No one will survive. You knew Zane, Thomas Zane. You're the Lady of the Light in the song. He left something behind to help me, the clicker. Alan thought of this as he stood on the rim of Cauldron Lake, the clicker in his hand. He took a deep breath and jumped. I can get to her now. I can finish this. Wait a minute, was that? Oh my God, was that um? Oh, I can't remember his name, but the guy that played Alan Wake who just passed away. Rest in peace, by the way. To him, what a great voice. I think he voiced Thomas Zane. So he voiced Alex Casey and Thomas Zane and Alex Casey is just Max Payne, but they don't have the rights to Max Payne because Rockstar has the rights to Max Payne. But he also got to voice Thomas Zane, so he's only two characters in here. My head was about to explode and the light hurt my eyes. I needed my sunglasses and painkillers to dull the pain. Oh no. In one of my finer moments of self-deception, I swore to quit drinking. Ugh. The sunglasses made the world look bearable. Now I could keep my eyes open without feeling like a vampire in the sun. The hangovers truly are the fucking worst. I don't that I I've had one or two hangovers in my life and I never want to have one again. Uh-uh. I drink responsibly now, boys. The pills worked fast. The prospect of being awake started to seem bearable again. Leave the bedroom. There was a message waiting for me on the machine. Oh, Jesus. God damn. You be nice to Alice, all right? She's just a caring wife. Casey was a gloomy guy, never had much luck with his love life with the ladies. Was that autobiographical in any way? Yeah, no kidding. Casey's lady friends tended to die on him. With Casey, it was all about his pain. No, nothing autobiographical about that. I'm a happily married man. <laughs> my muse. Well, congratulations. Woo! That's Aww. So, how's the publicity tour been treating you? Good? Great. But I gotta say, I'm glad to be back home in New York. <laughs> yeah, New York! Lots of parties and, um... Ooh! Oh, man. Well, that guy was really in 
my face. I lost my temper. I know that wasn't cool. Well, you are famous for that temper. <laughs> well, I did also... Okay, god damn it. Hang on with me. the goal of my fiance to bring me dinner while I'm sitting here playing video games for people recording stuff for my YouTube channel the goal of this woman how dare she how dare she do something so controversial uh, nah she's pretty cool I love her to death she's pretty cool my muse she's my muse and not like the band although I do like the band all right, we're back. I don't think I'm gonna edit that out. I think that was good enough. I think I turned it into a good enough bit. Ugh. Several books. <laughs> well, your latest novel is called The Sudden Stop, and it's in bookstores now. Go get it. That means the two of you out there having fun. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all we have for you tonight. I want to thank all our guests for the evening. Alan Wake, Sam Lake. What's more, do the face for the Sam. <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. That is so funny. funny. I told myself I could live with that. I didn't say anything stupid if that's what you want to know. Okay, Grumpy. You want an aspen or something? Are you going to start with me about drinking now? You know what? Go back to sleep, Alan. Yo, what the fuck? Why are we being such a dickhead to her? What? Now you can't even talk to me? Well, this morning I was angry because you said you'd be home at midnight and you showed up at 7 a.m. and passed out in mid-sentence. Now I'm over it. Are you angry? This goddamn tour. It's gotten out of hand. Oh, honey. It's almost over, right? We can get back to normal and you can start writing again. I'm sorry, honey. Alan, you're not thinking straight. Just take a shower and go back to bed, huh? Yeah. You're right, honey. I'm sorry. Once this is over, let's go away together. A vacation. Just you and me. Some peace and quiet. Somehow, the clicker was the key to the cabin. I had to return to Cauldron Lake to save Alice. going back to the lake to finish this. I'm going to write an ending to the story in the manuscript on my own terms, to make it all right. But why can't you just write it here? The last page is still in the typewriter. I need to read it first. Everything needs to be just right. Zane tried to cut some corners, and it didn't end well. Okay, ready when you are. I'm sorry, Sarah, but I need to do this alone. Barry, take her gun. Miss Weaver, Whoa! close the door when I leave. Alan, if you're not... Alan's obviously not planning to get off, get away from this, because he just pulled a gun on a, on a cop. Can't do that. Barry, even though you said some disparaging things about my, my very loving, awesome wife, I will miss you, buddy. You were the, you were the second muse of my heart. When I got out, it was warm and sunny. I'd flick the switch of the clicker. Had it done this? I didn't stop to question it. I had to take advantage of the sunlight to get to the lake. On Zane's page, I had stood on the rim of Cauldron Lake, about to use the clicker. That's where I was headed. Surrounded by the beauty of the Pacific Northwest landscape, it was hard not to let doubt creep in one last time. I could still chalk everything up to a dream, a delusion. I had enough imagination to make up something like this, having been in the cabin all this time, trapped in a story inside my head, gone mad from grief over Alice's death like Hartman had claimed. There would be no way of knowing. I told myself it didn't really matter. My course was set. Hell yeah, let's go. Oh, 
Oh wait, there's a car there. <laughs> I'm an idiot, guys. I almost forced you to have to sit through me walking here because I was too busy eating these fucking fries. So good. Yeah. Bright Falls Deer Festival. We didn't get to see a Deer Fest. That sucks. The darkness had touched me. There was a link between us. Always would be. I could feel its presence again, getting closer. Oh, shit. The dark presence was no longer trying to capture the writer so he could create the ending it wanted. The writer knew too much. He was too strong. And he carried a weapon left behind by Thomas Zane, something that could hurt it. Now, the darkness was doing everything in its power to simply stop the rider from ever reaching Cauldron Lake and the dark place it came from. Oh, wow. Not a lot of pages on this one. This might be a short chapter. Hell yeah. These guys don't even know what's coming, bro. I'm about to fuck them all up. Can't stop me in a car, bitch. I have a car and a clicker and a gun. I'm ready to use all three of them. Get fucked, bro. Oh God. Oh. Oh, excuse me. Uh oh, hell yeah, boys. Let's grab this stuff here real quick. That'd be nice.